So the COVID-19 pandemic continues to wreak, wreak havoc around the globe and family relations are not exempted. Dr. Anthony L. Gordon, counseling a psychologist and family relation, relational health specialist and our very good friend, uh, wants um, you all to be aware of and seek help if needed for these relational illnesses. Um, welcome back to Smile Jamaica Circle. When you go far and you forget me, you don't talk to me anymore. It's great to see you. I hope all it's is good. well with you and the family, sir. Yes, sir. And it's good to be on the solid rock. <laughs> <laughs> great to have you with us. Um, um, and to be with the TVJ family again. Yes, sir. Um, we have some headlines and I'll go straight to them. Um, number one says stay home, fatigue syndrome, which is referred to sometimes as quarantine fever. Talk to me about that. Okay, what it means is that relationship is being affected in no uncertain way where, as a result of the COVID-19, uh, the, the stay home issue is bringing about undue familiarity, what I call even space invasion and domestic abuses on the rise. So as a result of people being, or family members being in the space for virtually 24 seven. If the relationship is not healthy mind, then these side effects will be the result. So uh, stay home fever, or rather stay home fatigue syndrome, which we call uh, quarantine fever. In other words, being locked in as it were. Yep. So that's the issue. Yeah, you, you made a point and you said, if the relationship is not healthy, I suspect yes. if you get married, then you plan to live together forever. Um, Correct. So, so why would... And it's not only marriage, you know, not only marriage. Mm -hmm. Both, whether it's parents, children, whomsoever, once the family members are there at home together, if they are not, if the relationship is not healthy, because of the long staying together, it will show up the more and they need help to get that uh, addressed. Right. Um, psychosomatic illness. What's that about? Yes. Oh, no, that's where the, the, the power of the mind. You see, the mind is the engine of our being. And if the mind is not healthy, then psychosomatic illness will show up. Now, psychosomatic actually means the power of the mind over the body insomnia, digestive problems, um, always having issues on the mind, the question, the uncertainty as what is going on. And then it actually triggers a weakening of the functions of the body. Your heart rate is affected. So many issues, psychosomatic issues, a major one, PTSD, for example, post-traumatic stress disorder, also shows up in case like these. Again, it's all because we're locked in, as it were, in the home. And if the atmosphere at home is not healthy, then family members are likely to feel it more. Yeah. So it's just the, 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 the body now that's affected, but the mind, and when the mind is affected and it throws over to the body, that's really a bad combo. Yep. You say illness, so psychosomatic illness would suggest I see someone like you, or do I see the regular medical? Uh, no, the, the in illness? this case, primarily psychologists, psychiatrists, we're the ones who treat psychosomatic illness because the base of it is the mind, okay. not so much the body. The effects of it is the body, but it begins in the mind. Okay. I will say this deliberately, Takotsubo yes. cardiomyopathy which is broken heart <laughs> syndrome. <laughs> yes, sir. You got it right. Takosubo cardiomyopathy, which really means broken heart syndrome. It is, really, ah, it is really a situation where as a result of stress building up in the body, in the mind, of course, then it affects the function of the heart. But, you know, research has shown that Whereas many patients were sometimes diagnosed with myocardial infarction, which is heart attack, as a result of stress, 
poor relationship and all of that. It's not really a heart attack always that is the effect, is what scientists have now called, as we call it, tachosubio cardiomyopathy, which really affects the heart, primarily the, the muscles, but more than that. However, it is critical because there's a chest pain, there's a heart palpitation, there's a fearful feeling of what is happening around, and family members need to be properly diagnosed and treated. Otherwise, this could lead to further uh, deterioration of the body and the oral function. And again, who do you see there? You or the medical doctor? Again, for cases like these, it's the psychologist, the psychiatrist. But let me say this, however, all of us in the medical, in the, in the helping profession, the medical doctor, the psychologist, the psychiatrist, there are times when we team up based on the diagnosis, based on the intensity of the manifestations, we do refer from one to the other. Really and truly though, we want to rule out physiological illness where the medical doctor would be the first point of reference. Once he or she diagnoses that in the, the physiological function is okay, but the symptoms are there, then the referral is to the psychologist, the psychotherapist. Okay, whoever fantastic. Already. Number four, marital relationship malaise. <laughs> a malaise really is a slowing down, a, a feeling of limpidness, not there, I'm not interested, unexplained sadness, partner boredom, and please note the green grass syndrome. That's where the marriage, it's becoming taken for granted. And the, the, the life of it is not there anymore. And so there's a malaise. You don't want to relate with each other. There's a loss of interest in your spouse or in your family member. Again, yeah. this is because the relationship in the mind has not been healthy in a way, I know that you're forced into stay together, it manifests itself more. All right, we got a couple more. Um, sir, familial yes. relation, relational neuropathy. 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 <laughs> it's familial relational neuropathy. Now, a neuropathy, it, 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 from a medical perspective, is a, when you feel all that tingling, I'm just summarizing, the tingling in the fingers, in the toes. In other words, a kind of a loss of feeling, generally due to diabetes or functional of issues of the liver and other parts of the body. But in terms of the mind now, when the relationship is impaired, then you will lack feeling for each other. There's emotional distancing. You see, we talk about social distancing or physical distancing now in COVID-19, but relational neuropathy is where you don't feel for each other. So you want to stay away from. There's also the matter of insensitivity or hypersensitivity. Every little thing triggers you off and you get into a quarrel very easily because the relationship is not healthy. Hypersensitivity, oh my goodness, everything ticks you off. You just can't stay together because there's a neuropathy experience in the mind. The feeling is numbed, that's right. Yeah. I just don't feel for him or her anymore. All right, final one quickly, sir, familial dysfunctionalities. Dysfunctionalities. Ultimately, now there's a multiple of breakdowns, communication breakdown, sexual relationship in between husband and wife is broken down. So many issues there because we are not functional as would have been ideal. And please let me remind you, my listeners, that all of this activity or inactivity is taking place in the mind because all human relationships begin and continue to exist in the mind. Yep. The mind is sound, 
active mind. That's where relationship is based in the frontal lobe of the brain. Yeah. And we we'll go on to explain that some more. But that's where we're talking about in terms of dysfunctionalities. Yep. Sir, Sir Anthony, um, just f finally, just a word, because having said all of that, sometimes I will speak to, <laughs> with people and they say, well, I'm at home now, I'm spending more time with the kids and it's, it's good for them. Um, so mm -hmm. give me just a 30 second overall that can help the families who are together who are not necessarily accustomed to being together? Okay, it means they have got to learn what we call relational skills. First of all, check your mind. How healthy do I feel about him or her? What are the issues that I don't like? Let's talk about it, face reality. We're going to have to stay together and we want to stay together. But if there is ignorance, if you do not know what to do, how to do it, then get professional help because that's what you need. Just the same way, hello, if you feel the symptoms of COVID-19 affecting your breathing pattern and all of that, you go to the medical doctor. If you find that your relationship is getting bored and all of these symptoms I pointed out there, then get to the relational health specialist, the counselor, the psychologist who can help you address your mind to healthy relationship so you can meander through the maze of this time. Having said that, how are you found, sir? Pardon me? How are you found? I am at 876-327-7155 um, or 534-8046. Heart bonding, H-E-A-R-T-B-O-N-D-I-N-G, heart bonding at gmail.com. Always great, Always great to there. see you, sir. Thank you so much. And please stay safe. Say hi to the family for us. Will do. Thank you very much for having me. Yes, sir. Dr. Anthony L. Gordon, counseling psychologist and family relational health specialist. Up next, we have a do-it-yourself with the design diva. Stay with us, please. Soon come. <laughs>